Welcome to the second session on Cassandra and this session is all about the architecture of Cassandra. So whenever I see the logo of Cassandra, it's a beautiful eye and uh, it's, it's more than that, right? So it's one of the most famous NoSQL database available in the market. It is open source and this this particular uh, session is all about the architecture. So, so we have already discussed uh, a lot about uh, what is NoSQL database and uh, where does no C, um, Cassandra stand uh, in uh, NoSQL uh, space. So we'll start with why Cassandra became so popular. So one of the things like uh, Cassandra has uh, its proven path when it was first uh, 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 implemented in, uh, in Facebook uh, inbox search. So it was uh, created there, then it was taken by the Apache ORG, and uh, now it's an uh, Apache product, right? Uh, it's open source, it's distributed and uh, decentralized. It has a distributed storage uh, database system. The most important thing about Cassandra is it can be used, and uh, actually it is used for enormous amount of the data which is which is incoming from from uh, several sources, right? And one of the uh, biggest thing about the NoSQL database like Cassandra is uh, there is no single point of failure, so there are uh, uh, there are, it is multi-node environment and it has uh, high availability. So. If it is a failure of one of the node, then the, it doesn't impact the availability. So let's see uh, Cassandra at a glance. It is a column-oriented uh, database. Cassandra can be scale, scale out. It is very consistent. It is fault tolerant because of uh, multiple node uh, environment. Cassandra distribution design is based on, if you know about uh, DynamoDB and uh, the Google Bigtable, then, then it's like that. Cassandra was created at the first uh, Facebook uh, for uh, inbox uh, search and uh, it's it's quite different from RDBMS and Cassandra follows a dynamo style replication model with no single point of failure and if you talk about who is using Cassandra at at this point of time so Facebook if you talk about the Facebook the amount of the data which it it uh, brings on to the daily basis. So it is using that, uh, Twitter is using that, Cisco, Rackspace, eBay, and one of the biggest uh, user is Netflix. And there are many more countless, but these are the biggest name. So if these uh, companies are using, that means there is undoubtedly, it is, it is the leader in, in big data. So if you talk about the Cassandra, it has peer-to-peer -peer, uh, distributed uh, system across its nodes. So uh, the database, uh, the data is distributed on all the nodes uh, in the cluster, and uh, all the nodes in the cluster play the same role. And each node is independent at the same time when it is interconnected. So every node in the cluster, it can uh, go for the read and write request, regardless of where the data is in the in the cluster. If a node goes down, then the read-write request can be served from other node in the network. So it's always highly available. Uh, this is how the replication happens in the Cassandra. You can see there are, in this uh, diagram, there are node 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are five nodes and uh, the data is getting rep replicated among all the nodes. And uh, one or more of the nodes in a cluster work as replica. So all of them are having the replicated data. If it is found that some of the node is having the old value, then Cassandra will return the most uh, recent value to the client. So it will look who's, who's having the most recent value, then it, it will go to that. In case uh, it finds there is some stale data, then uh, read repairs happen in the background and uh, the stale data is updated. So there is uh, something called as gossip protocol, which is used to allow the intercommunication between the each node. That's that's the main thing behind it. What are the different components of the Cassandra? There is a data center. When we talk about the data center, it is a collection of uh, related nodes. Then we have cluster. It has one or more data centers. Then we talk about the nodes. It has uh, uh, many hosts. With, or the server where data is stored. So, so we, we are more uh, uh, 
or what do you say the concerned about these terms code node then we have commit log so commit log is the log which is which is having all the uh, the right operations and it is it is written over over there so and if there is a crash recovery then this file commit log is required then you have a mam table uh, mam table is a memory resident uh, data data store and uh, once the commit log happens the data will be returned to the mam table and uh, finally from the uh, mam table the data is pushed to the ss table where the actual data resides on the on the uh, host right and when we talk about the bloom filter it is a special kind of cache uh, how the uh, query uh, language happens query uh, uh, value is returned so there's something called as uh, uh, cql which is cassandra query language uh, like you have sql which is a, square, a structured query language so uh, cassandra query language is used to access the cassandra uh, through uh, the nodes and uh, cassandra query language it treats the database as a container of tables if you talk about the rdbms so you can use uh, the command prompt which is cq lsh so we will see sometimes uh, later on on some of the net uh, uh, on some of the demo like how it works uh, the client can approach any of the node for the read and write operation so that is transparent and uh, uh, the node coordinator plays a proxy between the client and the nodes holding the data this is important like how the write operations happen in cassandra so there are so if you see the point number one so right there is something called as commit log so the write activity on the lo uh, node is captured by the commit log which is being written on that particular node and this is used for crash recovery and uh, then the data will be captured and uh, it will be sent to the mam table which is a memory resident area so when mam table is uh, full then data will be flushed to the uh, hard disk let's say it is a, a um, ss disk then it, it will go over there so um, cassandra periodically uh, consolidates the ss table and it will uh, discard the unnecessary data when we talk about the read operations the cassandra gets the value from the mam table so mam table uh, uh, it's memory resident area and uh, if it is not available then it will go to the uh, do uh, it will go to the data files where the actual uh, data is stored so this is how the read and uh, write operations happen so you can see uh, the write and the uh, uh, update operation it will first write the changes to the commit log uh, when the commit log is is full then it will go up to mam mam table uh, so uh, commit log it's like transaction logs in rdms and then the mam table which is the memory resident area when it gets full then it, it is returned to the ss table which is uh, uh, it's kind of flushing to from memory to the hard disk this is all how all the uh, write and update operations happen when we talk about the read um, first of all it, is, it will go to the uh, to the mam table if it is able to find it is going to read from there if it is not then it is going to hard disk on uh, ss table where the data files are located and it is going to read from there and uh, that's all about the architecture uh, just a quick review like uh, what we have seen so basically there are just three terms right i'll go back once again one is commit log wherein all the changes which has happened uh, it will go and uh, get stored in that commit log then once the commit log is full then uh, mam table uh, it will go to there and uh, post commit log the data will be returned to the uh, mam table uh, sorry so i somewhere i mentioned uh, about the uh, uh, getting full of the commit log um, so it is like commit log then it, it goes to the mam table and finally it goes to ss table so that's that's uh, how it goes commit log mam table and uh, ss table uh, it's, a, it's, it's a very basic architecture and it's it's very powerful uh, back behind the scene there are a lot of things which happens so we'll we'll see how how we are going to discuss it later i hope all this is